Good morning, folks. We've got two things to cover in terms of space weather, one of which I don't have a great explanation. We'll also look at Alma's peak at a disk, magnetic bacteria, and the bajillionth confirmation of the main mid-cycles we've covered here on the channel, but we are starting with the last 24 hours on our star. And while we didn't have any significant flares, we did have a bit more of the active region surges and coronal motions we saw yesterday. Both the northern and southern incoming sunspots approaching center disk had pop-like events, which we'll see a couple of times here. I'll be checking the updated coronagraphs later today to see if they released any CME plasma like the ones we saw in yesterday's show. You may recall, we have that CME due tomorrow night and also the coronal hole stream. Perhaps there's another one yet on the way. But something interesting happened yesterday in the solar wind telemetry. Simultaneous spikes detected in the plasma temperature, plasma speed, and plasma density on the Discover spacecraft. These did not show up on ACE. And when that happens, which I've seen plenty of times, I usually presume it's a cosmic ray spike happening to hit the detector. But when these usually happen, we don't get any movement of the BZ, nor do we get an enhancement of the magnetic field fluctuations here on Earth. Now, these are minor, to be sure, and perhaps simply a relic of interesting timing, a coincidence. But it certainly caught my attention and is making me ask if perhaps it was something a bit more than just a cosmic ray hit on the craft. If new insights arise, I'll be sure to share them. It's also very much worth noting that while we continue monitoring the sunspots on the disk, there appears to be a monster spot incoming on the south. The leading umbra is by far the biggest on the Earth-facing half of the sun, and the far side helioseismic returns suggest there may be even more complexity coming in behind it. We'll have eyes open here for sure as it turns in to face the Earth over the weekend and early next week. Let's go to ALMA, where radio wave signals of a disk surrounding a star in a young nearby system are pretty impressive. We are looking at the system edge-on from the side, and... This is about what ALMA was built for, to see in the wavelengths our eyes cannot see. Yet another magnetic biology topic up next, confirmation of magnetic field usage by bacteria, but this time at the sea floor. It's worth remembering that the changing magnetic field of Earth is going to impact the big and the small across the food chain during the ongoing excursion, and every discovery like this confirms that concept. Last but not least, in an online preprint that won't hit the printed journal until October, we get what we've seen time and time again, that the major climate changes in history are tied to Dansgaard, Oeschger, and Heinrich events, the 1500 and 6000 year cycles. We are, of course, due for their recurrence and the larger 12,000 year harmonic in the coming years, as most of you observers know. Excellent chalk up on the list there here. We greatly appreciate your support. Learn more with the resources below the video in the description box. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.